hello and welcome back to my another tutorial in this tutorial i am going to share with you how to share file and folder in your windows 11 so let's take a look how to do that maybe somehow or some cases you're looking for how to share file and folder in your other network so in order to do that it's really very easy and simple for example i'm going to open this pc and then i'm going to open c drive and i'm going to create here a new folder and i'm going to give a name you can give any uh any name if you want so i'm going to type here share folder and then i would like to uh, share this folder over my network so what you have to do you have to right click over on it and click here properties after click over properties you need to click here sharing and then you need to click here advanced sharing and you need to click this share this folder and you can see here something say limit the number of simultaneous user to so up to 20 user can use this uh, share folder at a time you can uh, decrease if you decide and then we're going to click here permission and then we're going to choose the every one and we're going to choose this full control and changes so we're going to give all this allow and then we're going to click here apply and then we're going to click here ok and apply and click here ok and then we also need to go this security tab in this security tab you will see there is some users also you can uh, give permission by uh, username but that might be make you uh, confused or even if you don't know all the users name in your uh, com uh, network so for that we will give to everyone so what you have to do you need to click here edit and then we're going to click here add and then we're going to type here every one and then we're going to click here check name and click here ok now we choose everyone and we're going to give all the access and then click here apply and click here ok click here close now close this uh, folder so we have done this uh, share this folder so we're going to close it and then we need to go uh, turn on give some uh, allow rules in our firewall so now we're going to go in this search bar and we're going to type here uh, firewall f i r e w a w l and this is the windows uh, defender firewall advanced security we're going to open this and we'll see it's going to appear just like this. In the left side, you will find something say in bounds rules. In the right side, we'll see there's a many file access. Just scroll down and try to find out file and printer sharing. So this is the file and printer sharing SMB in. So we're going to right click over on it and we're going to click here enable rule. And also we're going to see there's another file sharing, uh, file and printer sharing SMB in. We're going to trust right click over on it and then we're going to keep this enable rule this is both same but this is one for ipv4 and, and this ipv6 and you have done successfully uh, allow this uh, windows defender to access a uh, file and printer sharing anyway now what you have to do you have to go uh, find out the ip address your current computer so you're going to uh, go in this uh, wi-fi network right click over on it if you have ethernet you will see it. just right click over on it and you will find here something say network and internet setting and then we will find here something say wi-fi just extend it and then we will find this is the uh, properties your current network so just extend it and try to scroll down and you will find here your ipv address so this is my ipv address so i need to uh, give this ipv address to my uh, friends uh, whoever in the network so they can access that uh, particular uh, folder so what you have to do if they want to access the, uh, that share folder so they need to open their this pc and they need to go in this address bar and then to type this uh, first slash and type that uh, adv uh, ad ip address and hit enter and they will get access that share folder and whenever they try to access first time 
they need to uh, type your uh, computer uh, username and password this, this is the admin computer username and password then you type and then you save so later on and they no need to type every time just only uh, the first time they need to type and after that they can uh, add any file or folder or modify it over the network so within this simple way you can easily share file and folder in your windows 11 so that's for now thanks for watching my video see you next one peace